Hey everyone, we are heading to, where are we heading today? Disney Store. Disney Store. We're in Hanover, Pennsylvania when you live 946 miles away from Disney World. Yes, it's sad that I know the exact location and distance, but when you're a Disney freak, you know that type of information. So, when you don't have Disney World, you go to the Disney Store. And here we are, five feet in the door and go figure. Here's some frozen stuff. This is getting a little out of control. But I do have to admit, this Olaf with the Santa half is pretty cool. From the movie, from, what does this do? Really? Well, they all do. Look what she found. She's a huge Jessica Rabbit fan, and when we go to Mickey's Not So Scary next year, she's gonna be Jessica, and I'm gonna be Darth Maul. That should be a pretty interesting couple. She could be my slave. How much are they? That's actually not bad for being Disney. Yeah. It's middle of October, but we got our Christmas stuff out already. I'm liking this Olaf or Oswald. I'm sorry, I was I was caught on the Frozen theme, and I'm thinking not Olaf, Oswald. Yeah, we have a full Disney ornament themed Christmas tree, so we basically could probably buy this whole rack. And especially the Jack, because A loves Jack. Actually, that Sally one's pretty cool, too. Yeah, I like the Sally. Hallmark has Jack. And of course, they gotta be playing some Star Wars music while we're in here, too. I don't know why, but I like this Timon as the hula. That one's pretty cool with all the characters in the balloon. I'm digging the Spider-Man, but I'm not really a big fan of the Marvel Disney connection so far. I'm hoping they take that in a little better direction with the new movies and everything. So. Why don't we get some gigantic stuffed animals of our favorite friends over here too. But I wouldn't mind purchasing one of these because I am a huge Donald Duck fan. Here's something that will piss you off real quickly. Ash bought this pin at Disney World this year. How much did you pay for it? Do you remember? Probably like 9 or 10. Well, 50% off of 10, so it'd be 5 bucks. Yeah. Ouch. Irritating. But we are massive pin traders, and you'll get to see that in one of my vlogs of all the hundreds of pins we have, but we can still get them up here. This is actually kind of new for the Disney Store, having pins. But look, here's some Jack Mystery pins. Try, try one of those. If you don't want some pins, how about a giant Mickey picture? And actually... We've been collecting, the. we like at the downtown Disney store, they have the kitchen theme area. We're getting a lot of like the Mickey oven mitts and all that stuff, but I kind of like these. I think they was, what are they, hand towels or something yeah, like that? Yeah, hand towels. They're actually, I no, like, is that a hand towel? Yeah. It doesn't, it's kind of weird material like for a, being a hand towel, but. Uh, decoration hand towel. That would actually look pretty cool in the kitchen, I think. You should probably get some of those. I agree, especially the Mickey one. But is it really worth sixteen ninety five? Well it's fifty percent off, so uh, it would be eight bucks. Eight. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I agree. Too many things here that I could buy. Yeah. This here is my favorite and also most depressing section in the store. I'm a huge Star Wars fan and we usually go down to Disney World every year for Star Wars weekends. Actually we've gone down the past three years to Disney World for Star Wars weekends, but A, my wife, 
getting a little sick of doing the Star Wars theme. She wants to do something a little different next year. We're actually going to go down for Mickey's Not So Scary uh, Halloween Party in October. So I won't get to attend the Star Wars weekends this year. But it will always be next year. I have a huge uh, Star Wars collection downstairs in my basement. I'm a, since I'm a huge Darth Donald, Darth, Darth Donald Duck fan and a Darth Maul fan, I'm a big collector of Darth Maul, Donald Duck themed stuff. And I have probably six or eight limited edition paintings and sketches and other memorabilia that I've picked up from Star Wars Weekends every year. And you'll get to see that one of my future vlogs. On this October 17th, it's actually going to be one year until our next trip down, because we're heading down in October of next year. So, yeah, we count pretty much every day of when's the next time we get to make the trip down. Here, Ash, some here. Sums. Some sums. What exactly are those? They're stackable little animals that come in three different sizes. I've only found one so far. So, I'm gonna ask if they have any of the other two sizes. Isn't there a Wally one? Yes, there is a Wally one. When we get back to our car, I'll show you the sticker on the side of her car. It's a Wally and Eve holding hands. We're big Wally fans too. As I'm standing here, I'm looking at these pajama pants. I kind of like those ones with Mickey and Minnie. I don't know why. I hate the color, but I like the design. But I did find these. Yeah, I kind of need to buy those. They would look good on you. Actually, I kind of want these as well. And Ash wants these. Because he's the big Jack Pumpkin King fan. Me, not so much. Another frustrating thing we just found. We bought one of these lawn ornaments down at Disney World this year. And of course, it's here on clearance. And yes, there's me in the reflection. The sweatshirt's pretty cool. I'm liking the Disney Star Wars themed stuff. New stuff that they're starting to come out with now that they've pur purchased Lucas Films last year. But I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to do with this new Star Wars movie. I'm not too sure exactly how that's going to go just yet. If you know any youngsters are still looking for that Halloween costume, let's go as a gigantic Mickey Mouse. That's actually kind of cute. The shame we don't have any kids because I would totally dress them in that. Oh, his nose squeaks is too. I'm not really sure what that has to do with Mickey Mouse, but sure. Here I found this Olaf sippy cup. You can totally see me using this thing, couldn't you? And check out these new Olaf slippers. Unfortunately, they do not have them in my size, so I would totally be buying them. And my wife would be making fun of me every day I wear them. And now, the main reason we come here gift cards. We come here about every couple of weeks, put some money on these gift cards towards our trip that we take down to Disney whatever year. We make it, you find it easier to, to save a little bit every week because when it costs almost $2,000 to take a trip down to Disney World, you need to save it $10 at a time. And we're ready to go. And what do we get? We got... Oh, we couldn't leave without the Jessica. And of course, we had to get an Olaf. Yeah, that's going to look really nice on our tree. Yes, it is. But we did not get the two foot tall Olaf. Which would be awesome. Actually, it would go quite well with our what, three foot tall Lotso that we have. I'll have to show you him when we get home. But we're done here for now, so we'll see you real soon.